we're going to be talking May's Polish Pickup. May's Polish Pickup theme is Guilty Pleasures. Um, we all have our guilty pleasures, don't we? <laughs> um, and the shop will be open from Friday, May 7th through Monday, May 10th. I will link the Polish Pickup website down below for you guys. If you are new to Polish Pickup, basically it's a monthly polish collective. Um, there's a central theme. Makers make polishes based on this central theme. There's other things to shop as well, though, like um, body care items, jewelry, um, all kinds of fun stuff, stickers, um, a lot of just like really fun polish related things, um, lotions, and so it's really, really fun. You get $3 flat rate shipping in the US, which is awesome. You get to try a lot of different brands, um, order some bigger products and get that cheaper um, shipping rate. Um, if you're outside of the US, I believe it goes by weight. This is a pre-order, so you order the polishes during this window and then it takes three to four weeks to get the polishes to you. Again, if you're in the US. I think if you're outside of the US, um, they extend the deadline just because of, you know, the, sh the mailing issues that have been going on and, you know, international just takes more time. So keep that in mind. I have a lot of really fun polishes to share with you guys. I don't have all my usual brands just because this was like a little bit of a weird month for me. Um, and so uh, let's get started talking about guilty pleasures. First polish I have to share with you guys is from Alter Ego. And this polish is called Get Your Red Hot Dog Here. Oh, you guys, I am not a red polish person and I am obsessed with this polish. Guilty pleasures, who likes hot dogs? Hot dogs I feel like are very um, controversial. I am a hot dog lover, but I know a lot of people are like, oh, all the random animal parts end up in hot dogs. But if it is random animal parts, it tastes amazing. Like, that's all I know. I love, love, love hot dogs. Especially when I go to watch a baseball game, I have to have a hot dog. Um, and corn dogs. Corn dogs are another favorite. So I have I approve this guilty pleasure from Alter Ego. Um, this polish, though, you guys, is so, so good. Um, let me read you the description. So this is described as a glossy, glowy red. Um, this will be $10, and there is a 100-bottle cap. Um, this goes on really nice and smooth. It is a little bit brush strokey just because it is a little bit shimmery. Um, so just make sure to like keep your brush strokes as even as possible. Um, it does dry down a little bit less than when, than when you're applying, but you know, it's still there when you do, um, it is still there, you know, after it completely dries. I think this would be beautiful with a matte top coat as well. Um, very flattering on my skin tone, very glowy. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I think this will be a two coater for almost everybody. My swatch pictures are two coats with a coat of glossy top coat. And um, wait till you see how like glamorous and and just like vampy and chic this is. I just feel like I would wear this and I would be like, hello, you know, just like flashing my hands around because it's just like just classic. I don't know. I was obsessed with this. Let's get into slice watching of Get Your Red Hot Dog here. Next polish is going to be from Colores de Carol, and this polish is called Sparkly But Sweet. You guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is inspired by Pineapple Crush Soda. I have never tried that, but now I'm intrigued. Um, and this is described as a hollow yellow with iridescent flakies, hollow micro flakies, and shimmer. This will be $12.50, and there is no cap. This is so beautiful, you guys. Um, when I first saw this swatched, so Catalina usually sends us swatch pictures and kind of asks us, does anybody want to swatch this polish? Um, I thought it would be more of like a sunshiny, um, lemony yellow. But when I got it out of the package, I was like, mm, it's more of a pretty ugly. And you guys know I am obsessed with pretty ugly polishes. Um, to me, this sort of reminds me of like pickle juice, but like bedazzled. Um, and I'm totally here for it. Like, bedazzled pickle juice, I'm in. Um, it's gorgeous. It has a great formula. Two coats to get opaque for me. I think if you have longer nails, you're going to want that third coat. Or if you have, like, a really strong visible nail line, you're going to want that third coat. But the coats go on really nice and smooth. The flakies come out beautifully. The holographic is beautiful. 
Um, it's something interesting. It's really, really pretty. Um, I just, I really liked this one. So if you are a pretty ugly polish lover like I am, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Um, and to add it to your pretty ugly polish collection. So let's get into life swatching of Spiky But Sweet. Next polish I have is from KB Shimmer. This polish is called Everything is a Bouquet. Um, I believe the inspiration for this was like fresh cut flowers. Um, you guys, again, look at this polish. Uh, this is a grape purple jelly base with green, gold, blue, royal blue multi-chrome shimmer. Um, this will be $11 and there is no cap. The shimmer on this, you guys, this is like shimmer-tastic. Um, it shows up beautifully on the nail. And then when you get into like um, like my photography lights, oh my gosh. Like it's beautiful all the time. But then you get into that like really cool lighting and it's just even better. Like you don't think it can get better, but it gets better. The formula on this is really good. Two coats to get opaque for my swatch pictures with a coat of glossy top coat. I also think this is a polish that would be beautiful with a matte top coat. Um, if you have longer nails, you may need that third coat. I really don't think so though, because it was very opaque. Um, KB Shimmer has been killing these shimmer polishes, hence her name, KB Shimmer. Um, but so, so good, you guys. Like, I have been obsessed with all these shimmer polishes she's been putting out. I feel like the shimmer is so good. Like, if you are a shimmer lover, you need this in your life. It is amazing. Um, and let's get into life swatching of everything is a bouquet. like take 47 of this video i feel like i haven't filmed in so long like i feel very out of my element i don't know if it's coming across but i do feel that way so i just thought i'd let you guys know um and then also from kb shimmer she will be doing a sugar scrub and this is called freshly blended um it's really pretty inside it has like this really beautiful sort of like off whitey lemon meringue type color um and then there's some like glitter that dissolves in there so I like the packaging. I love the little um, aviator sunglasses on it. Super, super fun. And let's talk about the scent. So Freshly Blended is a sweet and tropical medley of fresh berries, cantaloupe, and lychee, lyche, I don't know. Sweet sugar cane and vanilla orchid round out this paradise perfect scent. Um, this will be $10 and there is no cap. Um, to me... I feel like the cantaloupe comes out the strongest, but the vanilla is maybe like a second. This smells really good though. It does remind me of sort of like a um, fruity cocktail or something. So very, very fun. Very, very um, like a refreshing scent. I love these KB Shimmer Scrubs, you guys. I use them before I do my manicure. Um, I usually um, remove my old polish, cuticle remove. Um, sugar scrub off like extra dead skin and then I oil and then I get into my manicure I've also been using these in the shower. Um, especially now in the summer. I literally have snake skin on my legs Like I'm not even lying. It's like legit. I look like a snake Um, and so what I usually do is I sugar scrub in the shower and then I shave and then when I get out I like oil up and aquifer and all that good stuff so that I don't look like a snake in my shorts Um, and it works really really well. I also use these for pedicures. Um, I'll like soak my feet and then cuticle remove and then sugar scrub and then um, paint my nails. And so very versatile. Um, I feel like it has a lot of sugar, so it is very gritty. You get a lot of um, exfoliation, but it's not like too harsh. So if you haven't tried one of these, I highly recommend them. $10 is a great price. And then if you get it through Polish Pickup, you get the $3 flat rate shipping, which is amazing because this, you know, is obviously heavier. So highly recommend. Next polish I have is Moonshine Manny's um, Cinnabon Bon Cinnabon Bon. I love this. Um, 
I love this name. It's so fun. But you guys, look how pretty this is as well. So this is inspired by two of my guilty pleasures as well, Cinnabons and Ricky Martin. You guys, I am obsessed with Ricky Martin. Like, it's bad. And Cinnabons, like, you can't go wrong with a Cinnabon. So this is described as a cinnamon linear holographic with Aurora shimmer shifting red, gold, and it also has a delicate cinnamon scent. This will be $11, there is no cap. A few people in the comments asked me about the scent of this polish. I feel like it is a very um, delicate. I don't think it's gonna give anybody a headache. I don't think it's um, too intense. But keep in mind that when I do swatch these polishes, um, I'm swatching multiple polishes and I'm inhaling all these fumes and I feel like um, it may not seem super obvious to me just because I'm like, hi. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but you know what I mean? like. I, you know, I'm in a room and I'm just swatching and swatching and swatching and the smell of polish and remover and, you know, and, and all that stuff. So you may get it home and you may notice a stronger scent than I did. Um, but for me, it was very like delicate. It was nice, um, but it wasn't like in your face. So this is a gorgeous shade, you guys. For me, I feel like this was almost like a mannequin hands against my skin tone, but then like mannequin hands with hollow. Um... And so I really enjoyed this. I feel like this is like a really nice, um, it's subtle, but then it's like there's something extra. So if you're into neutral polishes and like nude polishes, I think you would really enjoy this one because it gives you a little bit more, you know, it's like subtle, but then like, bam, you get some holographic. And so I really liked it. Had a great formula, two to three coats to get opaque. Um, and let's get into the swatching of Cinnabon Bon Cinnabon Bon. movie Twister. The movie Twister is also a guilty pleasure of mine. Anytime that movie is on TV, I will stop what I'm doing and I will sit and I will watch it. Always. Every single time. I feel like um, it's just a fun movie. I like how um, they come together at the end, how they survive the tornado, how they get all the data they want. Um, I just, I don't know. I really, really like it. And I also feel like Helen Hunt in that movie is just like understated beauty and like very classic and very chic like the styling of her she's always wearing like those white ribbed tops and she always has like her khaki pants and then her like long chain um and then her hair like I don't know she's just so beautiful to me in that movie and it's like just a classic look like you could go and style yourself that way right now like 30 years later or however old the movie is and um like still look very chic and classic <laughs> so super fun movie if you guys haven't watched Twister I would definitely watch Twister um, and so Dorothy is a yellow jelly packed with red, gold, aurora, and orange, green, blue, iridescent flakies. Um, this polish is $13 and the cap is 300 bottles. This was a touch on the sheer side. So my swatch pictures are three coats and there is still a touch of visible nail line at three coats. I do want to um, let you guys know that. I feel like there is so much going on in the polish that it's not super noticeable in person, but I feel like in my swatch pictures, it is gonna be super noticeable. But you have to remember like when I'm swatching, like I have really bright lights shining. And so I feel like that makes visible nail line more visible than it is in person. So, but if you still have some visible nail line and you don't like that, you could always layer this over a um, similar colored base. And um, the flakies in this are gorgeous. They come out really nicely. They lay beautifully on the nail. I've told you guys in some other videos, Swamp Glass is becoming just like one of my favorite brands to swatch. I love the formulas. I like her polishes. I feel like she and I have very similar polish tastes for what she makes and what I usually buy. And um, this, again, was no exception. I'm not a huge yellow person, but I feel like this yellow was very flattering to my skin tone because it's very, like, bright and sunny. If I'm going to wear a yellow, it has to be, like, super, super on the bright side. And this um, had that, like, touch of brightness that I do appreciate in my yellow polishes. I think if you're my skin tone or darker, you're going to get a lot of pop off of this. It's perfect going into summer. So let's get into the next watching of Dorothy.
that is everything I have for this month's guilty pleasures to share with you guys. Let me know if anything caught your attention down below. Do you have a wish list picked out already? What's on it? I am going to try and abstain from buying from Polish Pickup this month because I've just been going crazy like a mad woman. I've picked up polishes from Enchanted. Um, I picked up some polishes from Glam. Those are my first two orders from those two brands. Um, I've just bought a lot of polish, you guys, and I really... Last month was a huge month for me for PPU. I did have a gift card, but still it was like, this is out of hand. Um, and I haven't been wearing that much polish, so do I need to keep buying more? That's the question. Of course I do, but you know, it's like I really need to like rein in my self-control just a little bit. So let me know what you liked in the comments down below. And that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.